beautifuls so today I am finally yes finally giving you guys my Black Friday haul now I just wanted to say first off I did have you guys vote on my Twitter if you wanted this to be a try on haul and a lot of you guys were like yes do one however I decided I'm not going to do it for this haul because of, I can't really stay on camera because my videos will probably get demonetized at this point like whatever but I am I do have my cycle at the moment so I'm really bloated and hungry and I'm dizzy actually right now a little bit and I just feel like crap so I didn't really feel like trying on clothes today I hope you guys understand and it's also kind of a muggy rainy ass day here today so that's why the lighting is not the greatest I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the love on my vlogmas videos I'm doing vlogmas in case you guys didn't already know on my vlog channel Sam Beauty XO vlogs I will link my vlog channel up here I have been vlogging consistently every single day and posting the day after that's how I do my vlogmas I know a lot of youtubers are doing it differently or making it all like Christmassy like every single day and it's like I like what normal person can do that unless you're a youtuber and you have like a ton of money if you guys want to see so if you guys want to see what I do with David and my family and friends every day until Christmas then just subscribe there and then to turn on post notifications so you know when I post and same is here that being said let's just get started a couple of things first of all our birthday presents that were left over from my birthday that I didn't get until like later until uh, Black Friday weekend so the first is this cute card from David's mom's his daughter-in-law and she and David's brother ended up actually giving me a Ulta gift card right here that obviously I used which you guys will see and same with this Visa gift card right here so I'll show you guys what I bought with those but I was just like oh my gosh you guys didn't have to give me anything I say that every year and I'm seriously I just don't want people to buy me stuff I just don't I feel bad thank you guys so much for getting me those gift cards I really do appreciate it so so much guys I'm getting married I'm getting married in like almost six months it's so crazy I'm so excited so the other thing that I got for my birthday was actually from Danielle. She got me the Bless Box, which is, I guess, a subscription service. Every month they charge you $30 and you get a crap ton of products in here. This is just what the inside of mine looks like. I actually got one more thing in here, but I ended up eating them. I'm just going to go through this really quickly and show you guys because I have a lot of stuff. First thing is this little birthday card that Danielle got me. Yes, queen, because like this is what we say all the time. Like, yes, queen, like, yes. So it was just like so fitting and it's so adorable and I love it so, so much. And now I can put these cards up because I've been waiting to haul this it comes with this little insert it has like shows you what everything is inside of there for the month and this obviously I ate already pop chips potato sea salt I really like these a lot they weren't that bad and then in here you also get a couple when products let me know how you guys feel about these because I've heard a lot of horror stories of some women balding from them and I know that David's mom used to use when all the time but she noticed that her hair was starting to like get weird or something so this is the when sweet almond mint nourishing mousse and then we have the remoist hydrating hair mask which I really would love to try this for the ends of my hair since you guys know it is still bleached even though I feel like it's starting to kind of fade into my hair color which is weird I know use these before or whatever the case because I would like to try them but if they're gonna make my hair fall out no thank you and then also in here you get this little silicone makeup applicator which is cruelty free non-toxic and paraben free which I have used these before in a video I did a first impressions of the ones that I got from Premark so I'll leave that video down below if you want to watch them I was kind of iffy about them but I really love these as like stress relief because I love the way that these feel so I don't know about makeup application but these are okay again I go into it in that video if you want to go and watch it then we have this huge huge size this is the natural happy love and toast body wash in honey nectar crisp apple peach blossom apricot and jasmine petal so I love the bottle it's like so square and different it smells really really good too so I'm excited to add this to my shower gel collection since I am going to be parting with some to give to my mom's friend because she's had a really hard time and was unfairly kicked out of her apartment I feel really bad so I'm going to be decluttering getting rid of a lot of my stash actually because I just have so much I have too much then in here you get a few makeup products these are both by Maybelline you get Maybelline full-size products this is the lash sensational curvitude curvy full fan effect mascara and I use the benefit roller lash and have been using it and loving it these past few days I'm really excited to break into this one as like my everyday like, mascara as well and then I have the curvitude liner as well which is really weird but you guys know I love weird liners like this because I feel like they just work better than just a regular stick liner maybe that's just me and then this other makeup item is by model launchers called brows dark gray and it's kind of a dupe of the Anastasia I don't even know what it's called the angled one so that's what that looks like and this is a little bit darker more gray toned I definitely will give this a try for my brows though I feel like my hair is I don't even know what kind of tone my hair is I just try to make my brows and hair match the best I can and then you also get one of these sheet masks this is the seaweed bath company firm and lift treatment mask and I am so excited for this because I've been loving sheet masks 
lately. I got a lot of them for my birthday from Pink and stuff, so I'm excited to add this to my collection. So now I'm 25, I feel like I gotta start really taking care of my skin more than more than I ever have. I'm just like paranoid like that. And then you also get this Shea Tierra Organics Rose Hips Black Soap Facial Wash. So this is good, I guess, if you have like anti-acne, anti-aging wonder soap. I may have to try this out and see how that goes on my face because I like trying new cleansers now. I'm not really, I don't know, I'm kind of getting away from my dark angels a little bit because I feel like my skin is just like so used to it. Same with like all the other stuff. I also got a little sample of 10 little sugar bear hair gummy vitamins that like the Kardashians advertise all the time and I love them so much. I may have to get a full size bottle once I'm done with the ones I have now because they are so good. They taste just like candy. And I think they did a really good job honestly for like the past few days. Like my hair just feels a little bit better and it feels longer. The last thing in here is you get this little $30 gift card for Sterling Forever Shine Bright which is a jewelry company. I did look up on their site and basically you can use this and pay about $9 plus shipping so that's probably about 15 bucks for something if the cheapest items like 39 it's really really generous and I really appreciate that so and I also forgot to mention that it does give the prices of each individual item in here as well and the value of the box literally outweighs the value that you pay every month so this box I believe is $30 a month and you get different products every single month I'm not quite sure how it works more in depth than that exactly but I highly do recommend it Danielle's favorite thing is to get me like beauty items like last year she got me smolder cosmetics so I really love their pigments and this year this box because she loves getting me things that I've never heard of and I never heard of this until now I do recommend that you guys check it out I think it's a really nice subscription service if you don't really get to spend money on yourself or you don't really get to pamper yourself if you're a mom if you want to spend $30 a month and get a whole ton of products then I do recommend because it's really really nice and you get a lot of bang for your buck kind of like FabFitFun it's kind of reminded me of that too so thank you Danielle I love it so much it's just I, I wasn't expecting that like I love that it's so cool okay so the other things that I quickly wanted to share with you guys I got from the Sephora VIB sale I didn't get a lot of things mostly I like to stock up my hair is just weird you guys I have my natural hair and I just put like hair stuff in it so I apologize that it looks weird restock on my glam glow super mud clearing treatment which I love so much and this gift set was actually the same price as if I would pay for a full size of the super mud mask so I ended up getting the kit this is was $69 and you get the full size of super mud clearing treatment and a tiny little thirsty mud gravity mud and youth mud so I'm really excited to try that out I love the box it just looks so so nice I'm sure everyone's like hauled this from their VIB sale and I'm like so late because like it took them over a week to ship it so I was just like oh okay whatever but I did end up buying this for myself for my birthday so that's what that looks like and I've actually been really wanting to try the gravity mud for a while as like a firming mask I'm getting older now I want to keep my skin as nice as possible like I want to age gracefully like my mom seriously you guys like I'm not gonna tell you how old she is but she still looks like she's 30 which is so incredible to me because which is so incredible because she looks so young and she gets so many looks from guys and she's just like hi you know my mom is so beautiful like seriously I just want to age as gracefully as her and then the other thing that I bought for myself I have the box I threw it away at David's I ended up buying the Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation in ivory I think I did I talk about this in my favorites I can't remember if I did or not I really love this foundation a lot again Tana made me do it has a nice little wand applicator I'll show you guys right here picking my color online I think I did a pretty good job kind of lightish on me at first but over time it does oxidize throughout the day and it gets a little bit darker so it matches my skin tone absolutely perfect I'm obsessed with this it is 55 bucks but I know that Kat Von D's foundation is really good I love makeup forever if you want a really good coverage high-end foundation Urban Decay All Nighter I've been using that one a lot lately too Clinique oh I forgot what it's called the Clinique one with the little doe foot applicator you don't want to spend that money and you want a drugstore foundation the infallible full cover one is okay I'm not a big fan of that one but I personally really really love hard candy glamouflage I think that's a great full coverage foundation and then I ended up getting my my birthday gift I chose the Tarte one so I just got the tiny little lip paint and blush I'm not gonna take it out because I think everyone's heard of it by now I did swatch them and I think they're really cute and they're gonna be great mauve colors for me because that's just what I like to wear on a daily and the last thing they actually included this in there I think cuz like they were sending out everyone's packages late so they were like oh let's put a sample in there this is the my Burberry black parfum oh I sprayed it inside here it's not a scent for me so uh, I'm not gonna use that but thank you Sephora I appreciate it for trying to compensate for the uh, late shipping so now we are going to go into 
Ulta, and you guys saw that I got that Ulta gift card, so this is what that went to. I really just wanted to stock up, mainly because they were having such good deals on a couple things that I was like, I have to. And I also ended up using a coupon as well, so I can get this stuff a little bit cheaper. These were not from Ulta, but I wanted to just throw them in here. I got them last week. I know I'm on a no spend, but I did pick these up because I want these for wax melts for when I melt down my candles. I am still planning on doing that, and I bought a ton of Halloween ones, so I just got these ones. We've got some Christmas trees and snowmen right there. Can I just say, this was like the deal of the day. I had to grab them. They had Batiste dry shampoos, a buy one, get one free, so I ended up picking up four of them. I got two of the original ones, so after discounts and everything, I think I paid about $4 a bottle, which is the same price I would pay if I went and got these from TJ Maxx, so that's awesome. New limited edition neon lights, pomegranate, and jasmine, which I really love the packaging, so we'll see how that goes. Sweet and delicious sweetie, which is really cute. I love the pink packaging on that. I need dry shampoo. Like, I need a hole in the head. Let's be real. And some of the other things that I ended up getting, I really wanted to get this on my birthday, and then I was like, you know what? No, I'm not gonna get it. I'm just gonna wait. I saw it at Ulta, and I was like, I have to get it. I have to. This was $22. It's the Smashbox Travel and Primer set. I'm not sure if Ulta has this still, but I know Sephora also has it. You get a little travel size of the Pore Minimizing Primer, which is like my favorite high-end primer of all time. I have to say, it fills in pores so easily and been wanting to get it again so badly. An original photo finish foundation primer, which is okay. It's not my favorite. And then you get the primer water, which is what I've been wanting to try. So you get all these tiny little travel sizes for $22, which is an awesome deal considering a tiny little travel size of one of these primers is about 16 bucks. So just for a few dollars more, you get three little mini items. And then the last couple things I ended up getting were lip items. This was also on sale. The Too Faced Melted Latex High Shine Liquid liquefied high shine lipstick and peekaboo these were ten dollars and they were also ten dollars at sephora as well so i have a feeling they're just continuing these but that's just me that's what the packaging looks like i have the clear one called girl on top that's great as a clear gloss that one's really great if you just want to put it over top of any matte lipstick if you want to wear it by itself i really wanted to try a color from this line and i have to say i love the formula i'm wearing this color today it's beautiful and so glossy it's not so sticky where you lift your lips and it's like strings of like gloss or lipstick like it's absolutely Absolutely perfect and it's very comfortable so I really like this a lot I know Too Faced again has a lot of controversies but I do love Too Faced and whatever like I buy what I like that's my new rule okay I buy what I like there's just so much makeup controversy with brands and crap and I'm just like I can't just buy what I like it's just makeup I'm kind of over it honestly and then I ended up finding BH Cosmetics at the Ulta near me which I didn't think they would have but they did and I ended up doing this so if you guys are wondering why it's all ripped got a couple of their liquid lipsticks the first one is called Clara I love how it has the colors on the side of it because it reminded me of my mom I really love these dark nudie colors as you guys can see so I'm gonna swatch this it's like a moussey texture but it's not to the point where it's like oh my god I think that's a little too brown for me holy crap but it looks really really nice I really love the formula I actually ended up wearing this other one I'm going to show you guys yesterday and I absolutely love it like it was so comfortable to wear you could easily wipe it off I'm in love with this formula so then this one right here is called Samantha I figured it was fitting since my name is Samantha but I don't like to be called Samantha so there's that and that is what that color looks like I thought it looked very similar to Rebel Rose by Wet n Wild but it actually in the sunlight looked a lot more like purpley pinky tone in low light right now like it looks kind of like mauvey purpley tones but it's a really pretty color and obviously it was my name so I had to pick it up next I went to H&M and this is where I spent the other gift card and then some obviously because hi I ended up getting some things that were marked down that were on sale first of all I got this gray hat which you guys probably saw me wear in my Rhode Island vlog from from Monday where David and I went to Rhode Island because it was so cold where we went to take pictures and look at the beach and stuff like that so that's what that looks like it was seven dollars originally like 13 and then you guys have seen me like wear all this stuff already so I apologize <laughs> I just couldn't wait anymore I got this gray cropped hoodie and it was $17.99 so this was the only thing I bought that was not on sale really cute and comfortable and goes with everything and it's really adorable and since I've been working out again I'm starting to feel a little bit more confident that I want to wear more crappy stuff rather than just like full you get what I mean like I feel a little bit more confident enough to wear that and then the last clothing item I ended up getting I did wear this already too so I apologize is this really really cute pink sweater which is so comfortable and so warm like literally yesterday it was 30 degrees out 
outside. I was wearing this on top of a cami with jeans and my Uggs and I was warm. Like I didn't eat a jacket or anything. So this is what it looks like and that's the bottom right there. This is in a size large too, I believe. Yes, this is a large and this was only 10 bucks, originally 20. So that was a really awesome deal too. And the last thing I picked up were a two pack, which the other pair is actually in my purse of these black gloves because I never know where my gloves go. Like I always lose one. I don't know. I actually don't know what happened to the ones I bought from Primark last year. So a pack of these were only three dollars instead of six and then next we have Victoria's Secret I did make an order online and then I ended up going in stores Black Friday weekend online I ended up getting this outfit which was like the crossover campus pant and sweatshirt I ended up returning the sweatshirt though because it was cropped and I knew I wasn't gonna wear it because I don't even really wear the red one I got from Pink Friday that much so I've been wearing these the past few days so I apologize but this is what they look like they are actually pretty warm they're a little light material they just say pink all down the sides like that and they are like all ruched at the bottom it's not like the boyfriend pant but they have like a little like stretch to them and they are just so cute and comfy and I have been obsessed with these pants I've been getting rid of a lot of my shorter pants that I just don't wear because there's no point to wearing like short freaking pants when it's cold outside and I've been really all about staying warm this winter and wearing my sweatshirts all the time which I never used to do so maybe it's me getting older I don't know again I've been just been noticing things about myself have been changing as I've been aging aging that sounds so awful huh <sighs> never mind and then the other thing I ended up getting which I can't show you guys because all of my stuff sitting on it I did get the $40 Sherpa blanket I'll try to insert a picture here if my computer lets me is the pink and white one this is pink 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 all over it which you guys know I don't like but it was $40 and I wasn't about to spend 80 70 bucks on a new Sherpa because mine is so run down it's so old like I can't the Sherpa's not even soft anymore it's still warm and I still love it so don't get me wrong so matted it's just not the same anymore and it's not as like comfy and so that's why I wanted to get a new one and the one I got from pink Friday I do keep at David's for when I'm cold at his house too. Forgot. This is the other thing I ended up getting online, which is a bombshell bra. Tana made me do it, honestly, because she always talks about like, you need a bombshell bra. Like, ladies, you need one in your life. So I ended up getting this white one. Has like so much freaking padding in it. It's insane. I've been wearing it the last couple days and my boobs have just been like, <gasps> like, holy crap. Like, I have boobs. I haven't worn like a really huge padded bra in a very long time. So this was like holy crap is this high school again when I used to wear extremely padded bras to make my boobs seem bigger than they were <laughs> it's really cute I do like it a lot this was on sale for 35 bucks by the way and the pants I ended up getting it was either $30 for the sweatshirt or the pants and the rest of the stuff I ended up getting in store I got this little I don't need this I really don't need this but I got this Nua Tees scented body mist this was only six bucks regularly these are 15 so that was a good deal and I'm gonna give my mom the other tees that I have because I have it in like a little container and I just don't use that one a lot the bottle's appealing to me I'm sorry does that make me like too basic I don't know but I just really liked it and I love the scent I'm gonna be going through my perfumes and stuff too as I start packing up my room and stuff when David and I move in together just have so much and it's driving me nuts it really is driving me nuts hence why I'm not shopping and saving money and yeah okay I'm gonna be quiet now these slippers they were like free with a $30 purchase which are actually not bad I did wear them around a little bit they got grips on the bottom however I think I wouldn't wear these as like to try and keep my feet warm if if you don't have socks on or anything like that but I definitely will be taking these on David and I's honeymoon uh, spoiler alert we're going to Maine for our honeymoon so to walk around the hotel with I just want to have something so when we get up and go for breakfast in the morning instead of just having to put my sneakers on all the time because that was really annoying these are gonna come in handy for that I got the pants to match the shirt and shorts that my mom got me for my birthday because I love the shorts but I just felt a little too cold we're really trying to stay warm this year so I ended up getting the pants they're really cute these were not on sale they were full price at $32.95 but again I but I have to say highly recommend if you have angel rewards or coupons or something and you really 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 want like a sleep set like this honestly go for it or wait for the sale because everything gets marked down so so much which I'll give you guys another spoiler I'm not sure if I'm gonna shop really crazy for the sale this year <gasps> I know I know shocking I'm am thinking about going to Bath and Body Works and getting some more shower gels and maybe there's this limited edition pink jacket they have it's probably gonna be on sale during the sale too I might end up getting that otherwise I really don't think I'm gonna be shopping that much so I just want to tell you guys right now I'll probably end up throwing it in a vlog or something you guys see that I'm not shopping the semi-annual sale 
but I probably will end up going anyways because like my mom likes to go and that's like our thing. I ramble so much. I'm sorry. And then since all of the pink bras were on sale for $25 too, I ended up getting another one of these velvet bralettes because they're so comfy. I love wearing bralettes. I'm wearing one right now. It's just really comfortable for when you don't want to wear a big padded bra. You don't want to wear a regular bra and it still gives you some support. It covers you up. That's what that looks like. It is so, so cute. This, as soon as I saw this was on sale online, I'm like, I need to go get that because I have had my bathrobe for years, as you guys know, probably since like, near the beginning of my channel and I love it to death. So don't get me wrong, but I really wanted to get a new one. So I ended up getting the one that was for 35 bucks and it does have this little, has a little heart right there and it's like all warm and comfy inside and it has a hood. It has a hood. I ended up wearing this uh, the weekend I got this over David's and I was just like wearing it constantly. It's so warm and comfortable. It is a little bit lightweight. It's not like the best like heavy material, but it kept me nice and warm. Okay, so last but not least, the last place I have to show you guys is Fashion Nova. I just wanted to throw it out there that I had no idea that there were some people that were getting scammed by this company and I honestly feel really, really horrible about it. So I just wanted to let you guys know that yes, I did order from Fashion Nova as well as Zaful, but I still have not gotten my package from Zaful, hence why it's not in this haul, and also the fact that I did get everything from my Fashion Nova order and everything came rather quickly, unlike some other girls that have been scammed out of items and the company is refusing to refund them. So I cannot say that I would highly recommend you guys buy from this company, but if you do choose to, then be very, very cautious. There's a lot of girls on YouTube right now that have some scam videos of and exposing Fashion Nova videos, so I do recommend you guys check them out before choosing to purchase from this company. I had no idea before that I made I my purchase, so, so I just wanted to let you guys YouTube. know that. I have seen so many YouTubers and so many Instagram baddies and so many celebrities just talking and promoting Fashion Nova, and I was always kind of intrigued, and I kind of wanted to try it out for myself, but I was kind of scared, is it going to be a scam site, you know, whatever the case, but I went for it, and I am so happy with everything. It's it's not even funny. I really wanted to get some of their jeans, their high-waisted jeans, because I have a problem with my puff, as you guys know, and I have had a really hard time this year. I did gain a little bit of weight back, I'm not gonna lie. I have a hard time finding high-waisted jeans that just smooth me out, instead of just like showing that I have a belly. You know what I mean? So I've really been wanting to try Fashion Nova to see if their jeans will just suck me right in. They do, and I'm really happy about it. So these are dirty too. I did end up wearing these yesterday and on Saturday, so I'm sorry. I ended up getting these black high-waisted jeans, and it says Fashion Nova right in there, and they have rips all the way down. You can't even see the rips. Hold on, let me put my hand in there. So you guys can see, it's got like rips all the way down. It's so freaking cute. I love them, and they're also really stretchy. These are size 15, by the way, which are a little snug on me when you first put them on, but these do stretch out over time, and I'm usually a size 13, 14, 15, depending on the store and depending on the clothing item and these stretchy ones fit me really really nicely are a little bit like <gasps> when you first put them on but after like amazing and then the next thing I got were these sunglasses I think I'm actually gonna keep them in this in my purse because this is just better protection which also says Fashion Nova on it I love these sunglasses I've been wearing them in my vlogs for vlogmas they are just so nice and big and comfy to wear and just easy to throw on and they're not gonna get caught in my hair and stuff like that because I hate it when I wear sunglasses and they just get caught in my hair I'm not sure what the style of these are but they are called tortoise and there is a blonde girl on the side that wears these so if that helps and then the other pair of jeans I ended up getting our same sort of material stretchy but they're all blue all the way down there's no rips to them or anything like that when I do go back to work I do want to wear something like this so it'll like keep me sucked in and looking nice but it'll also be stretchy and I can move with it I didn't really talk about this much I did talk about my vlogmas that I am going to be applying for a job for a part-time position and I'm very nervous about it so I haven't done it yet I'm nervous I'm nervous I'm nervous I am planning on going back to work in January so I needed some better jeans to suck me in. And then the last couple items I got were just some tops. I actually have a velvet skirt I'm going to be wearing to David's Christmas party because I just don't feel like wearing a dress this year. I just don't. So I got this to kind of go with it as like a little crop top but now I'm thinking this might be a little bit too inappropriate. Can't be really that Instagram baddie at like a Christmas party with a ton of other companies. It's just this dusty blue. It's really really cute and I absolutely love it so so much but I don't know if I'm going to wear this or not. I actually may end up wearing this instead which I just bought because I really liked it. It's this off the shoulder gray sweater and it's just 
so adorable so I'm thinking I might pair this with the black velvet skirt and then just wear some black pumps or something with it because I think that'll be a lot cuter and a lot more like appropriate than just wearing like <laughs> a crop top and skirt can't be that bad yet a professional event <laughs> I also wanted to mention quickly I did get another pair of jeans from Fashion Nova but they were not stretchy they were also ripped but they just would not close and they were also high-waisted they just would not close around my hips and my puffs so those are going back me a little sad but I wish I got a bigger size because they're sold out of it now cool but I love you guys so much hope you have an awesome day subscribe if you'd like to see more of me and like this video if you enjoyed and be sure to hit that little bell down below so you know when I post here and also on my vlog channel again Sam Beauty XO vlogs I am posting every single day until Christmas doing vlogmas and I am so excited about it and I love it and I've been doing it pretty consistently and I'm very happy about it this haul is like 45 minutes long <laughs> but I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video I totally forgot to show you guys what I got from Jeffree Star. I'm just so out of my head today, but I just want to quickly share with you guys what I got. I got some of his holiday collection, and I also got another lip scrub because I lost mine. I have no idea where it went whatsoever. I ended up getting this lip scrub from his Summer Chrome collection in Watermelon Gum, which is life. It's so good. I unboxed most of this stuff on Snapchat already, so you guys probably have already seen it. That is what the packaging looks like, and it smells so good. So good. So, so good. And then I ended up actually getting three three of his holiday collection liquid lipsticks now I know I said I wasn't gonna buy from Jeffrey anymore or just in general because you know of things that have happened however I'm at this point now where I'm just gonna buy what I like like I said because I'm just over it honestly I'm old tool for this I genuinely love his liquid lipstick formula so I wanted to try some of these that's all I'm gonna say about it whatever hate me if you want I don't really give a crap at this point it's makeup it's all makeup it's all the same so whatever like makeup community like people are so petty and catty like stop hating people for the past mistakes they've made whatever everyone's just so entitled and so like easily offended nowadays it's like can we all just build a bridge and get over it these are the three colors I got I got human nature Christmas cookie and Santa baby I have worn Christmas cookie and Santa baby and I love them however I feel like Santa baby is a little bit patchy it's not like a nice clean formula but I've never had like this sort of a tone from him before so this one right here oh, look at this packaging you guys let me just show you guys this first it's so gorgeous I love the glitter and the hollow boxes like <gasps> so so gorgeous and the other reason why I haven't bought anything from Jeffries because he hasn't really had like anything I've been like oh my god I need to get like the Manny MUA collab was pretty nice but I didn't like it enough to spend money on it you know what I mean Christmas cookie which is so beautiful it's basically a little bit darker than mannequin but it's also one of those like perfect nude shades for me and again with his formula they dry down matte they're very comfortable to wear in my opinion and I can easily wipe them off if I, if I want to without having to use a liquid lipstick remover so here we have here we have Santa baby I feel like this looks very similar to berries on ice I was kind of in between which one I wanted to get but I just decided hello we're gonna get this one so that is what that looks like as you guys can see like in the formula like maybe it's just me it looks a little bit inconsistent a little bit patchy I did end up having to put two layers of this on when I did wear it but it's a really really pretty color and then the last one is human nature which I have not worn yet but I feel like it's so similar to Kat Von D Lolita to androgyny darker and not as like red toned uh, so that's what that looks like Ooh, it actually kind of looks oh, wow this is my first time swatching that one kind of looks like dominatrix a little bit too so that's gonna be really really pretty to wear as well at the end of the day it's all makeup I'm just over it so I mean I'm not gonna consistently be obsessed and buy everything that Jeffrey puts out but I did genuinely love these colors and love the packaging and everything so that's why I bought it yeah so I just wanted to insert this in part of the haul because I totally forgot to include it <laughs> Bye.